In this learning module, we're going to look at sound. And it's a subsection of waves and how waves behave, but it deserves its own special learning module. So, first thing that we're going to look at is that waves are, or sound is a form of a compression wave. So it's a longitudinal or a P wave. And it looks something like this. If the molecules are in the air, and sound passes through it. What's happening is these molecules are moving towards each other and compressing the next bit, and they're all interacting with each other. So one bit of molecules will interact with the next bit, cause the wave to travel down, and that's what forms our compression. Well, there's a really good example of uh, how a speaker does this. A speaker takes this membrane here and vibrates it back and forth to produce the back and forth motion that we need, or the compression waves in the air. So that's how a speaker works. So we're going to take a little bit of, uh, in the next couple videos, we're going to look at how these things actually come about, and we're going to look at main, two main categories of um, physics that deal with sound, that of intensity and that of Doppler shift, or Doppler effect. And just one little equation that might be useful later on. It's not that well of a known equation, at least I don't remember uh, learning it when I went through. But it's a nice equation to have, and it's the speed of sound in a medium. And the medium will have a bulk modulus and a density. And the square root of that ratio will tell you what the speed is. So the higher the bulk modulus, the higher the velocity. The larger the density, the lower the velocity.